thoughts? Uh, what were some of your overall thoughts on today's game? Uh, just, man, just trying to hit shots today. I mean, playing as a team, like, it was just a lot of things just going on. We, we wasn't really playing as good as we can, so we are just trying to pick it up and trying to just get, get the dub today, man. That's yeah, cool. these guys, they kind of didn't go away. They fought you guys to the end. Yeah, man, uh, that's, 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 that's a good team over there. That's definitely a good team over there, but... We just couldn't like execute our plays and things like that. We we, we want sharp. So we want sharp tonight. But good thing is we, we got the dub, so that's all that matters. What are you learning about your offense as the year goes along as a team? What works for you guys and what doesn't work for you? Oh, uh, I mean we we could do a lot. We got a lot of plays. We got a lot of off ball a lot a lot of off ball screens, a lot of on ball screens. We get out a lot in transition as y'all can see tonight. But I feel like we, we we got a lot of keys that we can do on the offensive end. So. There were some times in this game where it felt like you guys were kind of moving the ball well and clicking at a high level. Like, what is going right in some of those stretches where things are flowing for you guys? Oh, man, just trying to play together, trying, trying to get into the third side, honestly. Uh, not not trying to be too selfish, trying to get everybody a touch, and just trying to make defense work. So that's what we're trying to do on the movement like that. There were some other stretches, like coming out of the gate the first five minutes there, where yeah. it felt like you guys had a hard time getting a good, good shot or yeah. hitting anything. You know, what, what bogged you guys down in some of those stretches? Uh, no, we just came out soft. Uh, uh, we all knew that. We, we, were, we weren't aggressive enough. We weren't, everyone finishing our layouts, we weren't coming. We, we, we were trying to play with the contact and a lot. We, we couldn't just go straight up. We were, that's just us. So we just got to be stronger. We just got to be stronger. Got to be better. Is that the same kind of stuff you've really seen through the year, where it's some good offensive stretches and some bad offensive stretches? I mean, yeah, that's, that's, it's still beginning of the year, uh, but it's, it's kind of rolling now, so we got we, we, we starting to get things running and stuff, so, I mean, yeah. yeah. What can you guys do offensively to, to hit at a higher percentage? Is there anything you see to kind of continue moving forward in that way? Uh, I feel like the defensive end will, will help us a lot on the offensive end, so we're just getting stops on defensive end. Yeah, the offense playing inside out and uh, just moving the ball. So that's why I would think you can score. Yeah, you had another big game scoring. Uh, I think career high. You getting more comfortable with with your shot in the offense? Yeah, definitely. Uh, coming in, I, I didn't know what type of shots I was going to take. So once I we had a little scrimmage, scrimmages, few scrimmages, few games, I start working on the shots that I'm specifically going to take in the game. So I feel like I'm, I'm real comfortable now. So I think Coach Henson mentioned to us a few games ago that he was working with you to try to get better shots like yeah. better better shot selection do you feel like you've worked on that this season so far? yeah yeah definitely he, he has me coming off off ball screens a lot of off ball screens i'm not in juco i was taking a lot of off off the dribble pull up shots which is not a good shot on, on, on paper so i feel like he, he just has me coming off a lot of off ball screens and let me get some good shots so i just gotta knock him down with Bill, the, are you surprised uh, you know, in the sense that you have taken on such a large role to this point. I mean, you're scoring, but you've also, I mean, you took a charge down there at the end that kind of turned the, the game a little bit and great out there in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Are you surprised that you've been given that big of a role? Uh, uh, not surprised. I mean, that's one of the reasons I came here. Uh, I knew I was going to have, have a big role, and uh, I just trying to trying to execute at this point, so yeah. Did you yeah. think you were going to get that when you when you got that charge on it? Did you think oh, you were going to oh, get the call? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I seen the whole game. He was just playing his shoulder down, so I, I, I read it. I read it. <laughs> I was definitely ready. I think it was with two minutes left, you guys got the free throw rebound, yeah. and it, they kind of cleared out for you on this side of the floor, kind of yeah. going one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Do you feel like that's a good thing for your offense, or the thing you guys can look to to get you in isolation? And yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I had a big man guard me, so once I had, once I see that, I'm just, I, I'm going to demand the ball at, at that point, and I just got to execute at that point. So, But that that isn't going to always happen a lot of time. It's probably once or twice a game. If, if a big man guard me, I'm just going to attack or get it. Go get a bucket for my team. Are there are there other times where you kind of want to be a go-to scorer and a guy that people look to on this team? Do you feel yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. something you can do? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I feel like the, the plays that we run, I mean, I don't really have to do that because I have a lot, a lot of off ball. And, but definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to go get the ball and try to make a make a bucket for my team, for sure. For sure. Is it concerning, uh, Dill? I mean, uh, uh, Lockie had a great run going there in the middle of the second half. I think he had something like eight points in four minutes and then he... Then he tweeted saying that's two guys you got down with, with ankles and foot or something. How, how concerned are you about the, the injuries? Very concerned because obviously we need those two players and uh, they're, they're, they're a big role of our team. And uh, I, just, I, I just have to pray for them now. I mean, it's de definitely concerning. We, we, we need those two guys, man. They're a big, big role of our team. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.